There we go. Turn this off and turn off the camera. There we are. And uh, I guess I should put the switch to sleep. There we go. Turn off the television. And of course, the, uh, the other light here. Done. Hello everyone, and welcome to Friday. I gotta tell you, I'm not thrilled. Not with the, the stream. The stream was great. The stream went great. Had a lot of fun. I'll talk about that in a moment. I'm not thrilled about what I heard coming out of that box. That's a stream box. Uh, we built that. When, when did we build that? Uh, Jan uh, January 2019, we built the stream box. The stream box has been wonderful. Um, aside from a few software issues unrelated to the hardware, um, it's, I mean, it's, it's been good. It's been reliable. We've, we've used it, but after the stream tonight, uh, I moved the file that we recorded the, the, the stream, I moved the stream over to the Mac, which is what I do, uh, after every stream we do. Um, because for one, it gives it some sort of uh, backup because it's in two places at once. Actually, if it, if it makes it to the Mac, it's in three places at once because the Mac also has Time Machine. Um, so it has a backup. But then also that's how I either edit it myself if it's breakfast stream or that's how I get it to Dan because I send it to Dropbox via the Mac. But after doing tonight's stream, ending off the stream, sitting at my desk and saying, all right, I'm going to pull this file off. I went to move it. And when I went to move it, it gave me a really long time. It was like, this is going to take over an hour. And I was like, why? <laughs> it usually takes a few minutes. And then I heard the drive in that computer start like, and I was thinking, oh God, no, oh God, no. So it made it through about half of the transfer process saying like, oh, it's going to be a while. I don't know. And then all of a sudden, the drive was no longer loud, and it transferred the rest in like a few minutes. So I suspect, I suspect that the drive is dying. Now, this kind of sucks because we just replaced a drive in that computer. A drive in that computer just died, and now I'm worried that the drive in this one is dying. Now, the thing is, even though um, they're both drives, the situations couldn't be you know, more different. Replacing a drive in the, the Windows computer, it's not that big of a deal if a, if a drive dies, because there's two drives in there, and they are backups of each other. Um, they're identical. So if one dies, it's like, ah, that sucks, but we have all the data on the other one, so whatever. And then we just replace it. If the drive in the stream box dies, then we're going to lose whatever's on it. Now, it's not a big deal because we move everything over after the end of the stream. But if it crashes during the stream, then there's a chance that we would lose whatever was happening on that stream. It's not a huge issue because you would lose at maximum one stream, but it is kind of a concern, right? Because then you would lose, you know, Zelda, and it's not that it would cease to exist because it is going to Twitch. You could download it off of Twitch, but when we record it locally, we split all those audio tracks so they can be edited separately by Dan, so he can you know, make the game louder when it needs to or whatever. So, you know, I kind of have to decide how proactive I want to be, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh... I have options. I could either replace the drive. I could say, you know what? I don't want to risk it. I'm going to replace the drive. Or I could just see what happens. I might turn it on someday and it just doesn't detect the drive. And I'd be like, oh, okay, that's bad. And then I'll know to replace it. Or uh, I could wait until it dies during a stream. Good. And like, maybe it'll be fine for a little bit longer, but the fact that, you know, it's making substantial noise is concerning to me. 
Um, it's just weird because I just had a drive die. So having another one uh, die is like, eh. And I, I put that drive in in January 2019. So it's like 18 months old. And uh, fun fact, because this is a fun little tidbit. Um, it's it's a pretty big drive. It's actually needlessly big in retrospect. It's a four terabyte uh, internal mechanical drive. And we have never deleted any stream off of it. Every stream that we have made since we got that thing, since we built it in January 2019, is on that computer. Because there's so much space on that four terabyte drive that we didn't have to delete anything. So everything we've ever made is on there. And it's again, it's not a big deal because everything is also somewhere else. Because when we do our backups, we keep the full streams as backups and we have them. So it's not a big deal. But um, yeah, that's how much space is on there. But we didn't really know, honestly. When we were when we were building it, we didn't know exactly how much room we were going to need. And four terabyte internals are really not that expensive. Um, but it's it's apparent to me now that we could go with something much smaller. We could go with something that's like one terabyte. Even recording the entirety of Extra Life, we're not going to get anywhere close to a terabyte. Especially if we're constantly moving stuff off of it and then deleting it. It would be fine. We could even go with a, a SSD if we really wanted to. If we wanted to have the speed and didn't want to worry about the mechanical nature of it breaking down. That would be an option. So, I don't know. Part of me is like, well, it is going to break at some point. If it's going to break at some point, maybe you should just replace it now. And the other part of me is like, I'll roll the dice. I'll roll the dice. If it, if it dies during a breakfast stream, it's not really that bad. I can just download it off of Twitch and then put it on YouTube and be like, okay. Then get a new, then get a new drive. Maybe I should just order one. Maybe, maybe that would be better. I don't know. And there's always a chance that eh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not dying. But like, again, it was loud. It was pretty loud. I don't think that it should be making those noises. Especially because halfway through that file transfer, then it was quiet again. It's not, it's probably not good. Anyway, the stream went well. We got a lot done. Um, we've been all over the map. And by all over, I mean in a very small portion of the map. But we unlocked uh, new portions of the map tonight. Uh, and I think that's that's one of the things that makes it feel like you've done so much. Is, you know, when you go out of your way in two different provinces or whatever to get towers and you you open up even more of the map, you feel like you've done a lot. And, I mean, we did still do a lot, but every week I'm astounded by how big the game is. It's, it's clear that we're going to be playing this for, you know, quite a while. And uh, I told Mao, I said, you know, tonight was our seventh week of Breath of the Wild. I said, in this amount of time, we had already finished Link's Awakening. Because it was less than a year that we streamed a Zelda game. Less than a year ago, we streamed uh, Link's Awakening DX. And I said, we beat Link's Awakening in six weeks. And we're on week seven of Breath of the Wild. And it feels like we have barely done anything. And it's because the, the progression scale in the games are so different. In Link's Awakening, you're constantly like, oh, here's a heart piece. Oh, you got a new piece of equipment. Oh, you found a new dungeon. You got another piece of the whatever. Like, there's stuff happening all the time that makes you feel more and more powerful. In Breath of the Wild, there's not. Like, it's so expansive, and there's so much to do, and to potentially do, that we have now spent eight, well, seven weeks with the game... And I still feel like a baby. I still feel like a novice. Like, our hearts are slowly starting to climb up a little bit. And that's good. But there's still, like, new items and new crafting materials we keep finding. And new um, enemies and, and all this stuff. So, you never know what's around the next bend. And because we've seen so many big enemies already that are dangerous, you just don't feel prepared. You're like, oh my god, Like when, when will I be able to fight these things in a meaningful way? And I don't know. I'm not sure. But I'm having fun. And we'll play more next week. And we finished that cake. 
That was a lot of cake. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. At the end of the stream, folks wanted to see the headband, so I put the headband on. I haven't worn it in a bit. It certainly works. It might look ridiculous. I did admit that, but does it keep the uh, the hair out of my face? Yeah, it does. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's be back tomorrow, shall we?